Twitter. Um, great content, great streams, high production value, and we're right into the match. Fox versus Falco. Again, with the spacey dittos and the up smash. It was a double or triple up smash combo and Cal a said, quick stock by Cal. Cal said, oh, oh, I'm sorry. You like uh, wearing shoes and triple daring people? Well, I'm, I, I I'm don't offended. like to wear shoes, and I like to triple up smash people. And I like to shine spike people at 55% on the stage. Ooh, man, and Cal is just like steamroll. It was less than 30 seconds. You just lost two stocks. Ginger trying to take away those stocks as quickly as he lost them. And I don't know about dropping down with that laser from the top platform. Seems a little risky considering Fox is so close to him, but oh my goodness. So much mileage from this. It's been 45 seconds. He's down to his last stock. Ginger, get it together. Cal is putting on a clinic here 50 seconds into this game. And he's going to use power shields too. This man is playing incredible right now. So precise. He kind of juked uh, that he's going to grab the ledge, kind of baited Cal into thinking that he could uh, up be onto the stage well. Just landed right back on the stage and was able to jump up and back air him uh, off of the kill. So normally I wonder, you know, how much effort you put into trying to, like, win this game, uh, being down so far. But when your Fox and Falco is volatile as the matchup can be, it, I, I think it's always worth it. Like, if yeah, you're a competitor, you're never going to give up. But especially in these matchups, it's not like you have to do something so incomprehensibly insurmountable to get past it. You know, there's there, there are things that you can do. Not if you oh miss your text twice. Oh my goodness gracious, Cal! Have mercy on him. He's just a grown man. He's just a grown man. <laughs> You're just a boy. He's just a man. With us, undercut. <laughs> yes. Looking like a. Ginger looks like a character from the scene, uh, from the set of Skins UK. Huh. Unfamiliar. Teen drama. Teen drama. <laughs> and Ginger already looking a lot better than he did at the beginning of that first game and the rest of it. But he still has a very difficult task in front of him. Cal is... Uh, Cal has just been playing out of his mind. He's been playing it exceptionally well. Yeah, that last game was something else. But and Ginger wow. says, I'm in this set. Fox DI that shine off the stage, or maybe he didn't, maybe it was just because it was the shine from behind him, but he was able to just get that spike real easy. Uh, Fox couldn't get the Smash DI or DI into the stage in order to be able to land on stage. And with this back air, it might be it. Yes. And as good as Kyle looked that first game, Ginger My, is my, my, young man, how the tables have turned. Right? Oh, man, what was that laser? That laser was a little... That laser was a little too spicy. Yeah, just a little bit. Feeling himself a little too much there. It's the Crimson Beak Ginger. Ooh. I feel like, man, I don't know if uh, if Alco could have done any different sort of angle or anything like that, but uh, no, definitely set himself up for the shine really easily once there. Once you're off stage with no jump, it's, uh, it's tough. It's tough pickings. Oh, these upside, ooh. Falco DI'd that uh, back air up, and uh, I feel like Fox might have been able to uh, to do something afterwards, but wasn't able to follow up on that DI up. Uh, definitely risky, because if you get hit by Fox's back air and you DI away, you maybe put yourself too far off stage, but you DI up and in, you set yourself up for juggles, right? So it's a tough balance to strike at that point. They're scrapping now. Yeah, after really starting off this match really well. Ooh, nice crouch cancel. Uh, saw the get up attack coming and just uh, was able to get the forward smash go. Oh, oh nice beautiful tech. tech. And, he's and alive. somehow missed the crouch guard. And sidestep shine. Can't tech that one. Sidestep shine is the side. Excuse me. Sidestep side shine. Sidestep shine by the seashore. I'm not even going to attempt that. <laughs> but. Hopefully Ginger will be able to do something. I mean, you know, the, the combos are gonna are gonna come. They're probably gonna do 50%, but he's able to recover. Ginger narrowing the gap, but so far Cal still showing some dominance here. Yeah. Not the short and uh, unfortunate because Ginger was looking really, really good there for a second. Certainly a better game than that first one. Uh, Ginger could, you know, have if he has as much of a mark improvement as he did from the, the first game to the second game. Third game might be going home with him. We'll see. Maybe Cal will go right back to his transcended form that we've been seeing this bracket Cal run. Cal 2. <laughs> they call him Cal 2. Cal 2 and Knuckles. 
Ooh, followed him up, uh, followed him down there. We got the shine, just kind of like raw. And he was Ginger. able to get him, uh, get him with those two lasers, and uh, Cal didn't get the side B in time and just uh, dropped way too low. I felt like Ginger was kind of like bullying him, setting it up for edge guard, and then Cal just kind of like gave up on the idea of trying to like recover, and he just faded off. Yeah. It looked like, like a half edge guard. It looked like the movie ended early. <laughs> they didn't have enough budget for the rest of that edge guard. It was like that last episode of the Sopranos where it just cuts to black in the middle of the in the middle of the scene. That's what that edge guard looked like. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> just waited right there in the middle, waiting for that up smash to. Uh, waiting for Falco to come into that up smash. Cal keeping it very competitive here. He, he is looking at a 3-0 uh, despite how close these last two games have been. And he ended up underneath Ginger. the stage. That's really no. bad. Oh, that's unfortunate. Cal shaking his head over that. But and we do have to take those. Yeah. All right, we'll take the double dare as well. Ginger making up for it by uh, taking a quick stock. He's got to be thinking about that SD, but he is not letting it affect his play. At this point, you brought it back to pretty much even. Don't even worry about it. If you're playing good enough to take those first two stocks and you're back to even, you're good enough to take the last two stocks. That's absolutely right. Good point. And good DI getting really far from that shine, but still able to combo off of this. And Ginger has just been following Very up like a creative. madman, and that's it! Creative work there from Ginger. Gets the loudest pop of the night by far. That was that V is a Valco <laughs> custom combo. S rank Falco combo. Oh, Cal got messes really, up with shine. really aggressive with that shine. And that's risky because you're out there like a sitting duck after the shine Ginger. and a beautiful spike. Ginger unaffected by the poor performance game one and the game that he dropped game two where he was up ahead. And now we were on the, board. Up on the board. On the board versus Cal. Love to see that. I mean, uh, honestly, the improvement he showed from that first game. Going into the second game, third game, he was able to seal it out. Had a pretty dominant performance. It wasn't like yeah, it was last night, last hit. Really impressed with how well Cal was DIing, and then on top of that, Ginger was oh getting the weak hits for the juggles. And Ginger has just been doing so well at following up on these uh, on this DI, where Fox is getting really far away from Falco and just where things get bad though. Yep, this is why he kind of picked Welcome that to piece, the chain grab. For sure. The the flip side of it is that Falco uh, definitely gets uh, some more guaranteed combos when he's on this stage. Uh, doesn't have to rely on the on the platform tech chases as much. A really good angle on the recovery for Cal. Try to cross cancel Shine. But Falco has a lot more difficulty getting that Shine to hit in those situations where he's cross canceling or just like trying to you know like get in with a Shine. The Falco Shine hitbox is actually a lot smaller than the boxes. Ooh, and really really good. He like dash forward a little bit and waited. If he texts one way, he just forward smashes one way, or you can forward smash the other way because he was so close to the ledge, he was going to be in range for either one. And the up throw up smash, and that's going to be three stocks to two. Ginger has to make the 3-0 comeback. He won that first game there. Cal, all he has to do is just win this one, and he's going to be in top eight. And ooh, Ginger man, says, just I'm got right off the this. stage, and good tech and a good short and two. What a statement this would be for Cal if he could beat Ginger. I'm pretty sure the last time these two met, Ginger was the one who came out on top. Oh, when was the last time that they met in bracket? Wasn't at this tournament. Uh, I'd have to look it up to be sure, but I believe I remember seeing that Ginger has a win over this, this guy. And here we go, the chain grabs. And this is welcome to Pain Town, Suplex City. It's uh, it's tough, uh, but again, it ends around this time. You know, you have to go for the up smash around 80, but he was able to get that back there. And uh, Falco uh, with. Not having such a great recovery, so short, he's not able to get back on the stage, and now he's on his tournament stock, and the chain grabs have happened again. Right back in the danger zone. Ginger has been uh, playing a little bit too unsafely. He hasn't been respecting the shield grabs nearly enough. Oh, and this is a big opportunity. Just up be right into the middle of the stage, and the jab, the the laser reset, kind of using it like a jab reset, but <laughs> full screen. And nice ah, coverage that's there it. from Cal. Great edge guarding. Good work there. And Takes after the chain grab train to Pound Town <laughs> on Ginger himself.